Well, the Butler Bulldogs got another impressive victory um, Saturday against the Loyola Greyhounds, Loyola of Maryland, that is. Uh, the game was, you know, it started off in Loyola's favor. I think it was like 6-2, to two, and then Butler just went on a run, and that was pretty much it. They won the game 80-39. to 39. Uh, Butler took a 42-18 to 18 lead into halftime and then came out and dominated the second half as well. Um, the cool thing about this game is that more bench players got to come in and get some experience. Um, start off with the starters. Roosevelt Jones had 10 points on 3 of 5 shooting, and he was 4 of 5 from the free throw line, so hopefully that trend continues. That's pretty darn good for him, especially. Um, Cameron Woods had 8 points on 3 of 5 shooting. Andrew Stravis, 8 points on 3 of 7 shooting. He was 0 of 2 behind the 3 point line. Alex Barlow, two points on one of three shooting. He was 0 of 2 behind the three point line. Kellen Dunham, five of nine from the field, three of three behind the three point line for 13 points. Austin Etherington comes off the bench, three of four from the field, two of three behind the three point line for nine points. Tyler Weidman, two points on one of three shooting. <clears throat> Jackson Davis, two points on one of four shooting. Stephen Bennett, three points on one of two shooting. He was one of one behind the three point line. Keelan Martin, 23 points on 9 of 13 shooting, 3 of 5 from the 3 point line. For a bench player to come in and lead the game and scoring like that, that's pretty impressive. He only played 18 minutes, so not even half the game. And then Trey Pettis played 5 minutes. He was 0 of 1 from the field, no points for him. Butler just, Butler just dominated this game. Like I said, they started off a little slow like for the first 2 minutes, and then it was just all Butler. Um, the defense played tremendously. The offense shot the ball very well, as you're about to see here. Um, field goal percentage, Butler 30 of 56 for 53.6 percent. Loyola was a dismal 15 of 51 for 29.4 percent. Three-point field goal percentage, Butler 9 of 16 for 56.2 percent. Loyola 4 of 16 for 25 percent. Free throws, Butler 11 of 17 for 64.7 percent. Loyola, Maryland, 5 of 11 for 45.5 percent. That's pretty bad. Rebounds, Butler wins this category barely, 35 to 33. We lost the offensive wards battle 11 to 8. Uh, assists, Butler 17 to 5. Steals, Butler 11 to 6. Turnovers, or I'm sorry, blocks, Butler 6 to 3. Turnovers, Butler wins that one 10 to 20. Personal fouls, Butler only had 10 fouls in this game. Four of them came from Austin Etherington. Uh, Loyola had 16 fouls, so not much you know, foul trouble in this game overall. <clears throat> Some other things that impressed me uh, was the six assists by Roosevelt Jones and the four steals that he had. He's really done a great job in stepping up in other areas besides scoring. Um, like I said, he's dishing the ball very well. He's playing great defense with all the steals he's been getting. Um, <clears throat> six rebounds by Cameron Woods. He's still eating up the boards. That's what we want to see out of him. <clears throat> then uh, points off turnovers. Butler wins this battle 37-3. to Points in the paint. Butler wins 40-12. to Second chance points. Not really much of a factor here. 12-10 to in Loyola's favor. Fast break points 8 to nothing in Butler's favor. Bench points 39 to nothing in Butler's favor. Um, yeah, the largest lead for Loyola was five points, and that was with a minute 50 into the game. And then uh, Butler just pretty much took over from there. Um, great win for Butler. Great performance once again. Now we're going to see what this team really has. Battle for Atlanta starts on Wednesday. Butler plays number five, North Carolina, to start. Pretty rough matchup to begin with, but uh, hopefully we can get the job done. I believe in this team. I like what I'm seeing so far, but we're going to see how that translates, like I said, against a quality opponent. So hopefully they can get it done. Hopefully they can get a good showing in the battle for Atlantis. be awesome if they walked out with a win. i um, trying to be realistic here. It's probably not going to happen with how much talent is in that. you got Real Sams, North Carolina. You've got Gator Boos, Florida Gators. Uh, you've got uh, Anakuno's Oklahoma Sooners. Uh, and there's UAB in it. Uh, UCLA is in it. Wisconsin is in it. It's just a stacked field. I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh, Georgetown. Georgetown is in it as well. So, eight really good teams. 
and uh, four of them are ranked. I think six of them were in the tournament last year, so this is better than Maui for once. So Battle Floor Atlantis really challenging Maui as one of the premier early season tournaments. But uh, anyway, hopefully, like I said, Butler gets it done there. But Butler got it done on Saturday against the Loyola Maryland Greyhounds, 80-39. to You guys have a good one, and I will see you next time.